Uh, we've agreed. Oh, yeah. Well, you want to go through the whole routine? We'll go through the whole routine. Okay, well, I called you up on the house because you called me and you told me you wanted 250. Right. All right? Or 300. So write this down so you keep up. 165 first. So we got a gap here. First of all, am I going to pay him 250? Not if I can help him. So, Kurt, look, I'm on the phone with him first. Kurt, I can't pay you 250. That's not enough equity for me to be interested in it. Uh, I can come out and take a look at your house today, and I can close on it whenever you're ready. But we have a few things we've got to work out. Number one, the only way I can buy your house is to take over your debt, which means I'll start making payments on it and uh, get it cashed out sooner or later, but your debt will not be out of your name until I get it cashed out. First of all, will that keep you awake at night? Yes or no? I don't think so. Okay, good. Then we got to figure out, A, what I'm willing to pay for it. Um, I've done a little bit of research, and I can tell you right now that uh, your asking price is going to be too high for me. So if I come out and take a look at your house, and you like me and I like the house, what's the least can you what's the least you can take for that house uh, now? If I get this debt off your back and we work out the difference, what's the least? Uh, very least. Yeah. Uh, how about? Uh, how about 230? Oh, 230? So you're saying if I don't give you 230, you won't sell? Well, that, uh, I don't know, do you mean you, uh, you mean you wouldn't buy it today if, uh... Well, I don't know, I haven't seen it yet, Kirk. Seen it. Okay. Are you telling me if I don't pay you 230, you won't sell? I don't know. Uh, you don't know? Well, I need to know before I come look. So I know you don't know, Kurt, but if you did know, what would it be? <laughs> maybe, maybe you need to ask your wife. <laughs> maybe you need to ask your wife. <laughs> Why don't you ask your wife and then call me back before I make an appointment to come see the house? I'll tell you that. what, if I give you a good deal on it, will you promise to uh, protect me from my wife? <laughs> So, Kurt, you're telling me you'll take 2.30. Right. All right. All right, well, I'll come out and take a look then. So let's get an appointment set up. And um, I will need your wife present. Okay. If you have to right. be present. All right. And uh, one more thing now. If I come out to your house and I like what I see and you like me and we can agree on terms, all right, are you ready to sell your house to me and get the paperwork done while I'm there? Sure. All right, because I'm not coming if you're not. i got no time to go look at houses that I can't buy. Right. Fair enough? Oh, yeah. All right. So I'm done. I'm making an appointment. We just set an appointment just that, that fast. All right. Regardless of what kind of deal it is, that conversation's the same. Okay, now I'm at his house. I knock on his door. I go in his house. We look around. <clears throat> and I take a look around, which takes me approximately two minutes. And I'm not going in the attic. And I'm not going underneath the house. Because I don't care what's up or down, but I don't really care. I'm going to look around the house. Yep, looks like all the rest of them. So now we're going to get to the terms. All right, Kurt, you owe 165 on it, and your payment's 1112. And uh, so you said you'd take 230 for it, right? Right. All right, have you had time to think about it now? Because I'm a little worried about that. What's the least you could take if we come to terms right now? I'll close on it in the next few days, and I'll take over your debt and give you back the rest. In uh, a second mortgage, I cannot pay you that balance until I cash out of the house, but I can get you out of debt right away. Well, I've told you what I'll take. Why don't you make me an offer? Well, what's the least you could accept? Well, I, I told you 230. Are you telling me that if I don't pay you 230, you can't sell it? Uh, possibly. Well, tell me what you would accept then. Why don't you make me an offer? <laughs> Kurt, there's really only two people who care whether you sell your house today. One of them's losing interest rapidly. <laughs> you tell me, what's the issue you can accept? Can you do 225? <clears throat> How about we split the difference at 215? All right. Okay. All right. So I'll give you 215, 
I'll take over your 165. So that means 35, 45, means I owe you $50,000. Right? That's the math. Yes. I'm trusting your math. Okay. Uh, so we'll do a second mortgage. I'll have them go to closing. My attorney will take, uh, do a paperwork. We'll, put a, we'll do a second mortgage, and it'll be secured against your property, and it'll sit there until I cash you out, and then you get paid off. Okay. That all right? Okay. That's good. All right. Mary, do you approve this? Yes, I do. All right. <laughs> So, all right. My wife says I'm married for the word. Okay, good enough. All right. Bob Burton in the sale agreement says that I'm going to take over as the subject to 165. Second mortgage the seller, $50,000, zero payments, zero interest. Boom, I'm done. I need your okay right there where it says set seller. Boom, boom, the boom. All right. When do you guys want to close? As soon as possible. Well, you want to stay in the rest of the month? You want to get out now? What do you want to do? It's up to you. How soon did you say uh, that you'd be taking over the payments or getting, getting me paid off? Of well, it uh, depends on when you want to get out. You going to get out this month? Yeah, we can yeah. get out this month. You want to stay left for Christmas, surely. Yeah, yeah. Okay. okay, so you're going to get out first uh, week of January. Yes, sir. All right, I'm going to ask you to make the payment that's due January 1, and then one due February, and then one due March. From that point on, they're mine forever until we're paid off and cast you out. Okay. All right. Yeah. All right. I could, I could, I could, I could probably do that. I was, I was hoping I wouldn't expect to have to make those three payments. Maybe you mentioned that. I wouldn't listen. Well, I was hoping not to make any for about six months. So no really difference, you know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Is, is that the best you can do? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you okay with that? I, I reckon. All right. Turn back to your paragraph 18. Buyer will start making payments March 1st. Okay, good enough. We're done. All you got to do is um, tell me when you're uh, ready to go closing, and I'll set it up. Just give me a couple of days' notice. All right? Are you going to call you and let you know? Yeah, call me. If you want to stay till the end of the month, we're not going to schedule the closing until you know you want to be out. And we're going to close it after you're out of the house. Okay. All right? And when I want the house clean. I mean, I, mean, I can close it now, but. I'm telling you right now, if you're not out when you say you're out, then I'm going to ask you to make the next payment the month after we agree. All right. All right? All right. So you want to close it now or you want to wait until you're ready to go out? Up to you. Uh, we can close the thing now. It's not next day. No problem. I'll have it done in about three days. Okay. All right? We'll just have to have a little addendum written up that you're going to stay in it and you're going to be okay. out by then. And I have a little thing called an occupancy agreement we'll have for that. Okay. We'll have that closed. All right? What do we... Uh do we give you kind of freebies? Are you going to send us something for Christmas or something? <laughs> what, you mean on a Christmas card? <laughs> I was hoping yeah. maybe a, okay. something like that with a big fat check in it. Plus check? Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take these payments off your back and give you your life back. How's that? Is that a good Christmas present? Oh, yeah. All right, we done? Yes, sir. Thank you. Give All them right. a round of applause. Good job.